Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, let's talk about those acid zombies just a little bit. Of course, we got those in Daryl Dixon season one, and we did hear about them at the end of World Beyond. I'll show you that where they were kind of mentioned in what Dr. Jenner said. I definitely want to say a shout out out to the members. Much appreciation for the support. A really big thank you, thank you, thank you. And the idea for this video partially comes from a comment from Connor Platt commenting on the video I did about what Jenner said in that clip at the end of World Beyond. I know we all remember that ending moment, that post credit scene of World Beyond Season 2. It showed the fast walker. They were in France. It said that's where the whole thing started. It says they tried to fix them and made it worse, which is the acid and we got to see that in Daryl Dixon season two, but Dr. Jenner was talking about that um, in that post credit scene. So I'll start with scientific jargon that Dr. Jenner said. This is back in the World Beyond clip that the scientist, French scientist, was watching these old uh, data clips. I reviewed the latest data on your side, the use of cardiac plaques as a host medium for steroidal therapies to jumpstart the circulatory system in hopes of short-circuiting the brain or perhaps regaining function to cause nerve confusion is a fascinating approach and we are all anxiously awaiting anything that comes back from your first trial. Okay, all those medical terms he threw together there didn't make much sense to me really. So I asked ChatGPT to break that down for me and this is what I got. I asked if it could explain the use of cardiac plaques, you know, the whole thing that he said. Response, it sounds like a rather complex and potentially speculative medical concept, but I'll do my best to break it down. Cardiac plaques, these are deposits of substances like fat, cholesterol, and other cellular waste that accumulate in the walls of the arteries feeding the heart. They are often associated with cardiovascular disease like atherosclerosis. Host medium for steroidal therapies. This suggests that using the cardiac plaques as a medium or platform for delivering these therapies. Steroids are a type of medication that can have various effects on the body, including reducing inflammation and altering immune responses. Jumpstart the circulatory system. Steroidal therapies is administered through cardiac plaques could potentially stimulate or enhance the functioning of the circulatory system which includes the heart and blood vessels. This could be particularly important if there are issues with blood flow or circulation. Hey, that's a zombie. Short-circuiting the brain. This phrase is a bit more metaphorical or speculative. It might imply bypassing certain neurological processes or pathways potentially to achieve a desired outcome more directly or quickly. However, it's not entirely clear what specific effect or outcome is intended here. And that's because of my question. I ask it another question here in a second. And number five, regaining function to cause nerve confusion. This part is quite vague and could mean several things. It might suggest restoring loss function to nerves, possibly by improving blood flow or reducing inflammation. The notion of nerve confusion is less clear and could refer to disrupting or altering nerve signaling in some way. Overall, it seems like this statement is discussing a theoretical approach so then I ask, could this be applied to the concept of a zombie? Response, it's an interesting connection to make. The concept of a zombie in popular culture often involves reanimated corpses or individuals who exhibit altered or impaired neurological function, typically portrayed as being driven by some primal instinct or desire. While the idea of using cardiac plaques and the therapies manipulate neurological function could loosely fit into the narrative of creating or controlling zombies. It's important to note that this is purely speculative and firmly rooted in fiction rather than scientific reality. So yeah, it's a zombie fantasy show. But that's cool that they kind of knew what they were talking about back in that um, post credit scene. It goes on to say that the notion of manipulating neurological function through cardiac plaques and therapies could be an intriguing element in a fictional narrative about zombies or similar creatures where scientific experimentation or medical interventions lead to unintended consequences. So that's kind of what it was used for, right? However, it's crucial to recognize the clear distinction between fiction and reality. Yep, we do need to be reminded of that sometimes, but still pretty cool. The whole thing about controlling zombies and all that, uh, changing their any signals they get from their body, their brain, and all that kind of stuff. Just a lot of crazy things, blood flow. But then what else does Dr. Jenner say? 
He said, we all have to work together here. Solidarity, right? Fact of the matter is, we only have so many supplies left. We're not getting any more, so everything counts that much more. Every collection, every test. He goes on to say a little bit about his wife and that she's going out on supply runs, so we think that's maybe how she got bit. But then he says, but let me get back to talking about the data. The idea of activating systems to work against reanimation is a promising idea. But as we've discussed, the systems themselves have to be studied to see exactly how they're working or not working. For example, can we build up acids in bodies that don't have blood flow? Of course, that gets right back to that idea of jump-starting circulatory systems. We need to do two things simultaneously. Observe this and attack this. I want to know more about these variant cohorts you referred to in our last communication. We haven't seen anything like that at all. Nothing close. So it does seem there's different types of variants, especially over in France. Isabel even said there's more than just burners, the ones with acid in the blood. And it does seem maybe the scientists created the ones with acid because of what Dr. Jenner said. But we got to look at, you know, it's a little confusing sometimes because it's like, okay, if a acid blood zombie bites you and you turn into a zombie, will you have acid blood? Will the fast, crazy running variant cohort that seems to be also out there and did the scientists create them or was it a natural occurrence? Does that variant cohort, when it bites someone, do they become like that or just a regular zombie? It does seem like to me, though, the French scientists created the burners. The guy in the World Beyond post credit scene said, you made it worse. Now, the darts that Janae has been shooting into the walkers, the regular walkers, it changes them into these hybrids. We know they become fast. They become smarter, maybe even acid blood. Their eyes change color that one time. The one on the boat with Daryl, he ran up those stairs and just ripped a guy chest apart, you know, real fast. Just crazy, crazy um, hybrids. Some may have a few different uh, abilities. But we got the burners that, you know, did they escape a lab or were they other people bitten by burners? But I was saying we got a little proof of that as far as one biting you. Do you turn into that as far as Quinn? You know, that was a hybrid zombie, a walker, that regular walker that got shot with a dart, turned into a hybrid, bit Quinn. And Quinn reanimated within like 30 seconds like they were, like the lady in the post credit scene. And he was hard to kill. He was fast. So I think it does create, if you're a hybrid walker, you create hybrid walkers when you bite another person and they reanimate. The thing about the scientist in the post credit scene, she wasn't bitten. She was just shot. So some people were saying there was something on the bullet. Some people were saying that she had given herself a shot beforehand that that's what would happen when she died, no matter what or how. There's still some mystery to it, but one thing I do know, I will enjoy discussing it with you guys down in the comments below. And also, I hope to find out even more about it and see more stuff like that in Daryl Dixon Season 2. Like a whole bunch of those uh, zombies with darts, you know, attacking our guys. And it just seemed like there's no hope of winning. And then Carol shows up. Oh my gosh, it's going to be exciting. But you guys let me know what you think about what Dr. Jenner said. The stuff we know so far as far as the variants. And one thing I want to throw out there one more time, you can't really use the word evolve. It's more, use the word mutated. Um, evolution or evolve, that's not really the correct word. Just wanted to throw that out there one more time. But hey, you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below, and you know I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.